G'day guys, Jason here. The video today is going to be all about the cattle tick, which is particularly bad here in Australia, especially where we are because we're in a tick zone and it, the infestation of ticks gets really bad on hot, humid summer conditions. What I want to talk about is understanding the tick cycle and how it starts and the life cycle of the tick, the biology and the months and seasons of the year that you really got to be on top of to break the cycle and get above or get control of the ticks. I'll start off by saying because there's I know what I'm about to say there's going to be a debate. Basically what I'm going to say is what comes first the chicken or the egg? Without getting into a debate I'm going to say that they start off as an egg. Upon getting laid into the pasture they stay there, particularly over winter, until the warmer weather comes and then they hatch. At that stage, they're known as the non-parasitic stage. They stay there, once they've hatched, they clamber up the top of the grass, waiting for a beast to walk past before jumping onto that animal. It's early spring and the weather's warmed up and they've hatched. They've clambered up to the top of the grass and now they've jumped on one of the passing livestock, or in our case, cattle, walking past. Once they're on the cattle, they start to feed, and then they undergo a molt to shed the larvae skin or shell before they enter the lymph mode of their life cycle. When they're in that lymph mode of their life cycle, they start to feed and they mate. Then they undergo another shedding or molting before starting their phase as an adult tick. I'll cover the male tick first. Male ticks are often found under nymphal or newly molted female ticks during mating. The male tick itself doesn't actually permanently attach to the host animal and only feeds intermittently without engorging. So male ticks wander around and they have choices. They can spend their life on either one beast, or if they're close enough, they can migrate across to another beast. And generally, they only mate with one or two females before dying, and their life expectancy is two months. As for the female, upon mating, pregnancy is a signal for her to start feeding. And they just don't feed, they actually engorge themselves. Female ticks suck more blood in the next few days following than they do in their entire life cycle. As they're just not feeding themselves, the blood they suck over those few days is quickly converted into thousands of ripe eggs. A bred pair or a bred female can produce up to 30,000 babies. It has been estimated that each tick that engorges takes away approximately 0.6 to 0.9 of a gram gr of growth from its host animal. Once the female tick finishes engorging to about the size of a fat pea, she detaches and drops off, infesting the pasture with her eggs. That whole cycle from when it first jumps on to the host to when it drops off is three weeks. So as you can see, it's an extremely fast process and then the whole cycle starts again. So this is part one. Part two, in the next video, I'm gonna talk about the critical months you need to be aware of and when to treat to get on top and break the tick cycle. So have a good morning, have a great afternoon and a terrific evening, guys, wherever you're watching this from, and we'll catch you later.